Hey folks, what you see in front of you here are a couple of implant motors. These are, these are the devices that help you place implants. They drill the holes in the bone before implants are inserted into the jaw. This is the Osseoset 100. It's labeled Nobel. Uh, it happens to be made by W and H. It's just Nobel branded. And this is the first implant motor that I had. Uh, it's probably about 15 years old, maybe longer than that. And it's been working well ever since I got it and still working well. I have no reason to uh, stop using it. But as a bonus, I received an Osseoset 300. I just unpacked it. You can see all the packaging here and decided to plug it in and it's uh, definitely much more advanced than I thought. So let's start off with both of these. Let's turn this one on. The Osteoset 100 is very simple. It has an on and off switch. You turn it on, you've got a one-to-one -one motor uh, setting. If you use a one-to-one, -one, it'll tell you it's 40,000 RPM. If you're using a 20 to one, it'll obviously tell you a different RPM. And you can play around with that. If you, you know, if you switch this down to say 500, the one-to-one, -one, you can adjust as well. So you can do whatever you need with this stuff, okay? Let's go back to eight. That's uh, just another setting, which if you wanna change, you know, it'll remember it. That's 800, that's a lower setting. Um, these two are, the implant torquing settings. You have one for the placement of the implant, which you can adjust up and down. Highest it'll go is 40, uh, 50, okay? And then you have this, which allows you to place a screw. Uh, it also goes up to 50, okay? This is turns on and off the water. And this is where you place your irrigation tubing. There is a peristaltic pump here, that thing rotates, and your tube goes in here. And that's basically it. That is the entire thing. Very simple. Let's try this out. I'll go to that. This pedal is simply water toggle. You can see if you press that. Actually, is it plugged in? It is plugged in. Why is it not working? Okay, that works. So there's a little bit of flakiness with this thing. Okay, that's reverse, reverse. That switches modes, and this is supposed to toggle water on and off. It doesn't always work. You can tell it's 15 years old, but it does, it depends on how I press it. It does usually work. Let's give this a try. This is the motor. Again, W and H, made in Austria, labeled Nobel. And the coupling is uh, like an NSK type coupling. If we start this off, you can see it's turning. The motor is spinning. Can't really tell there, but it is spinning. You have to trust me on that one. And here, you'll notice that thing spins to pump water. Usually there's a tube in here. It gets fed in from the top, comes out the front, and there you have it. If you turn the water setting off, this will not pump. See, when you turn it on, it'll pump. And that's it. This uh, you know, simple thing here has uh, basically been used thousands of times and functioned very well, aside from a few glitches with the pedal, sometimes not doing reverse, sometimes not doing the water, on and off, it has served me very well for over a decade. The plug is one of these DIN type sockets. Let me see if I can get that in there again properly. And no, nope, still won't do the water. Anyway, something with the, with the pedal. Okay, but it works very well. Fast forward to uh, a more recent model the Osseo Set 300. This is quite an advancement. I'll turn it on, see how this thing activates. 
There we go. It does take a lot longer to boot. You see that? I turned it on. And we wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. You can see a progress bar there. No doubt, again, this is a WH, a WNH model that has been branded for Nobel. Probably have their custom splash screen there. They put their label there. But it is WNH who makes these motors. And that's the motor there. Turns out that the uh, these things are not compatible with each other. I looked at this plug here and this plug here for the motors. They're not identical. The hand pieces also not identical. This does not have a light on it. It accepts like a typical NSK type connection. This one is much more sophisticated and it has an LED light built in. So definitely an upgrade there. There is a holder for the motor up here. Whereas on this one, the holder is this rubber piece that sits here. Sometimes it falls out. The other change that you can see right away is that here is where you attach the peristaltic pump tubing. It goes horizontal and you feed it through here and through here. And then it, must, it comes in through the back and exits out this hole in the front, which uh, is an interesting uh, development I have to try out. So here we are in the main menu. Now, when I turned it on originally, it let me do some configuration stuff. Like I could set the, um, my name, uh, it has a system thing. You can set language and so on, but there's a lot more stuff going on in here. As you can see, there are device info, language, licenses, module info, there's a lot more stuff here. You can restart it, reset software updates. I mean, this is way more advanced because it's all got computer stuff in there versus this much more simple device. You can argue whether you need all of that, but in any case, this is it. So you've got your foot pedal, very similar. It also does not plug in the same way, although they do look like they have the similar buttons. This toggles the water. You can see there, water off, water on. This changes the program, right? If you hit that, you can see it's toggling between speeds. And this is a reverse. You can reverse it. See, that thing's flashing. And then back to forward. So let's go back. And you can use the touch screen here also to switch. And you, if you want to change anything, you just hit this. And you can change the speed just by sliding it. You see that? And it's done. These are just factory defaults. Hit X, enter. Okay, let's try this out. So I'm going to hit the pedal. Okay, you can hear the motors going. It has an LED, so you can see better. You can also hear the peristaltic pump turning. So if I open that up, you can see it spinning there. Okay. So that pumps the water. Now, interestingly, you can change the water speed here. That I don't have the option of doing with my old motor. I have actually a little setting on the actual tubing that you can pinch and basically slow down the water there. But look, here I can do that, 25%, and it should be slower movement. Oh, I should accept this. Accept. Okay, let's try again. See, it's going slower. That's 25%. And if I increase my water, let's go up higher and try again. Now I'm at 100%. The other thing I noticed was when you hold the pedal down, you can graduate, you can go more or you can go less. You can slow it down or you can go faster. And that's true of also this one. If you press a little bit lighter, Actually, this one doesn't let you do that. Uh-huh. When you press it, it's an on-off. It's either on or off. There's no uh, graduation. Whereas this does allow you to have different levels. So you can go little and you can go max. 
Now I've just scratched the surface on this thing, but you can see there's different kinds of uh, drilling protocols. I have no idea what these things do. I have to read the manual, but basically there are various settings that are pre-programmed. Um, you know, it's a lot more sophisticated. I have not had any issues using this motor for many, many years, and I hope that I get a similar performance out of this upgraded one once I figure out how to use it. And, you know, whether I'll end up actually taking advantage of all of these extra features, I'm not sure, but it's nice to have, especially since it looks very nice and it functions very nicely. I have the LED. It also came with the USB key right there. And I believe that's the plug into the back. So it, it may also record your uh, surgical protocol on a key. Either that or it's some kind of upgrade, software upgrade. I have no idea. Uh, but there are USB connectors on the back of this thing. So maybe that's where you can uh, upgrade stuff or save user settings and so on. But uh, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, just a quick look at what your dentist may use if they're placing implants. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.